I'm the one who told it the first. I'm. Like, if you're willing to quit your pizza job for chance, all I'm asking you right now. Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> What's that have to do with anything? <laughs> fucking. A lot of guys here on exactly he keeps bringing that shit up. What are they doing? Compared to what I'm, compared to what I'm asking. Just got a text from Doc. Like, wow. Looks like he attached an idea okay. for a spidey gadget. Oh, Man, does he ever stop behind him? <laughs> so basically, he's a piece of shit. Oh. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, uh, you know, I was doing the dang thing on Tinder, and I matched with this girl, and we were talking for a bit, texting for a couple of days. And you know she fucks with me, Looks and I like thought she work. was pretty cool too. And, and you know her pictures were, were fine. You know she looked like a pretty, pretty cool girl. And then she brought up the idea of FaceTime, awesome. and I was like, yeah, okay. That could be proud. So FaceTimed, and she was a lot bigger than I thought she was. <laughs> So you're a fucking piece of shit. And I kind of don't really want to deal with that. So I don't really know how to go about that because she's been like texting me every day. And I don't want to ghost her, but I don't know. We had this guy once. Yeah, you're a fucking piece of shit. But he's a that was his last delivery. D word right now because he thinks I'm fucking body shit. That that's is that not is that not what it is? Well, I mean, I guess I guess I am, but it's my preference, bro. I mean, I'm allowed to have preferences anymore. I like all women, BBW, and all. <laughs> I actually prefer uh, fat bitches. I get it, bro, but I'm like, I just. Like, I don't care about being a fat bitch, but. Or doing anything with them, but there's, there's a limit. I, I have a limit. You're a fucking asshole. You know, bro, chill. I'm just giving you a hard time. I don't fucking care. <laughs> you keep crying like a fucking baby. I personally wouldn't do that, no. Huh? I personally wouldn't freaking ghost her like that, no, but you can do what you want. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't like I am indifferent about fat women. <laughs> like um I mean if they're if they're like fucking beautiful, I don't care. Yeah, I'll I'll date a fat lady. Like, they gotta have something attractive about them, obviously, but, like... Spider-Man, turns out we've busted four illegal firearms dealers within a three-block radius of that site. Gun running. Let's see what I can do to cut down the supply. Hey, Derek, get on my fucking live streams and watch me play Spider-Man. Big little boy takes the L. Let's look it up. <laughs> I want 
Bro, I, I, I wish I knew where my, like, Spider Noir comic book went. Like, I had a big book with all the stories, and I almost read them all, but I lost it. Bro, I don't know where any of my comic books are. I think they're in my chest outside because I can't find them anywhere. I got, I got a, like, in my freaking quote unquote nightstand, as you would call it. In one of the drawers, I have, like, a drawer, like, full of comic books. Because I've been trying to, I've been trying to put the Miles comics you got me with my collection, but I'm gonna risk them out there. I love my collection. I, I, it's like not the biggest shit, but like it's pretty good. I might read some today because I haven't. I haven't read like most of them. I have like a bro at Dave and Buster's. I got like that freaking cool Spider-Man Christmas one with like Venom wearing a Santa hat on the cover. Pretty cool. And then, I think that was a winner. That was like. Yeah, I can't remember. I need to go look. They're like at the top because I just got them, but. Uh, but uh, speaking of comics, uh, go look on my freaking live stream, pussy. Where's the fucking dude with the gun? I'm not playing Miles Morales. <laughs> yes, I'm. No, he got off of work. Oh, did you get Spider-Man off the ass? I was just supposed to make a song if you didn't want to do it wrong. I'm not playing Miles Morales. I don't have a hat. I don't have a hat. I mean, I don't have a hat. I don't have a hat. I'm not playing Miles Morales. I feel like it doesn't look that bad on the PS4. I mean, I'm kind of like, yes. Damn, that shit almost, that shit fucked me up. Um, it's not It was hard. I'm probably, I, I, I probably, and that's what we are about. Place is locked down, Captain. Yes, I web down. And someone finally reported shots fired, so I've got officers in inbound. I'm, I'm honestly fucking surprised I was able to get this one. But I'm happy I don't have to fucking worry about it. If I'm gonna find all the fixed construction sites, I should recalibrate my mapping software to be more accurate. Using a depth-mapped post-process on photos of popular landmarks should do it. And I know just the one to start with. Good old Empire State. Man, I love this town. Time to grab a snapshot.
That'll do it. Map should be recalibrated now. I haven't done much photography since quitting the Bugle. Forgot how much I enjoy it. Should keep an eye out for more landmarks to shoot. Huh, it's Mr. Lee. Hello? Peter, it's Martin Lee. I just wanted to let you know we need a little extra time to get set for May's party. I guess the cake delivery is stuck in traffic. Oh, sure thing. Just let me know when you're ready and I'll swing by. Great. Talk to you soon. Okay, got some time to kill. Let's see what's happening out in the city. Hi, Mr. Muggins. Uh, this is about the rent. Mr. Parker, this call serves as your third and final warning. Conviction proceedings. Wait, wait, I, I get paid at the end of the week. I get... Ugh. Conviction proceedings will start Friday unless full payment is received by close of business. Good day. Yeah, good day. Mr. Lee. Hey, Peter. We're all set for the party whenever you're ready. Cool. I'm on my way. my bag. Mr. Lee's probably in the kitchen getting ready for the party. Hey, Peter. Hey, guys. How's the game going? How's it look like it's going? I'm winning. Get this guy checked for dementia, Pete. I'm crushing him. Well, the important thing is having fun. <laughs> I have a lot of fun whooping his ass. In your dreams, crazy lady. Hey, Peter. 
What's up? Hey, Martin, so sorry I'm late. You were right on time. Just keep her distracted while we get everything ready. You got it. Hey, there's my favorite aunt. Peter, what a nice surprise. Need some help? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, there are some heavy no, boxes. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, I mean, not yet. I mean, I came to, uh, uh, uh I just, just, just wanted to talk. Okay. Okay. Come on. Um. Peter. Are you in trouble? Do you need money? No, no I, mean, I mean, I'm a little behind on my rent, but no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Girl problems again, huh? What? No, that's crazy. I still wish you and MJ could work things out. She's a great girl. She is, but... The two of you would make some beautiful wow. baby. Uh... Peter. What is it? Come on. You can tell me. These past few years... You helping me through college and working here... Sacrificing so much and asking for nothing. I just wish there were more people like you in the world. He's right. Five years ago, you walked in here and told me you were inspired by my mission to help others. Now it's you who inspires me. Thank you, May, for everything. Here's for many more years of service. Thanks again for setting all this up. Oh, I just wish I could do more. Well, May's always told me if you help someone... You help everyone. <laughs> uh, maybe we should send May to City Hall to have a word with the mayor. Oh, I gotta run. Um, thanks again for the party and everything. It, it really means a lot. Voicemail from Yuri. Should check it outside. Hi, Pete. Your aunt's in the back, I think. Hey, Pete. Good to see you. Voicemail from Yuri. Hey, silent alarm at the auction house holding Fisk's estate sale just tripped. Could you check it out? Quietly? I don't want to make a scene if it's nothing. Fisk estate sale? Sounds fun. Wonder what the kingpin had hidden in his closets. wondering. After losing my parents and Uncle Ben, there are so many times I would have fallen apart if not for you. Well, that works both ways, Peter. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. May, I... I don't know what to say. Oh, I think Mr. Lee needs my help. I should go. See you soon, dear. I love you. Love you, too. Yuri said quietly. Better find a back way in. I am losing. 
losing patience. Where is the file? There's someone else here. They must have taken it. Those masks. Who are these guys? There's no one here but us. We will find the file. Or you will die. This is bad. They'll kill her if I alert them. I need to pick them off silently. Yuri, the silent alarm was legit. Masked gunmen and a single hostage. Looks like a heist in progress. Copy that. Sending units your way. Keep the situation from getting worse in the meantime. Can do. Got to do this quietly. Don't want to alert the others. They always look so cozy webbed up like that. Should web him from above. Whoa, careful. You stay quiet now. Someone's coming. They'll see me down here. Someone else is here. I swear. She must have the file. If they're here, where are they? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Move it, Pete. Bad guys are getting ready to be bad. I literally didn't see that coming. Hey, what is that? This totally belongs to... Don't move! Buddy, if I had a nickel for every don't move... Hey, Pete. MJ? What are you doing here? Same as you. Working. At least... I was. Oh, I, uh, think this is yours. Yeah, thanks. So, Robbie's got you covering a break-in for the bugle? Well... Robbie doesn't technically know I'm here. And it wasn't a break-in until a few minutes ago. Uh, uh huh? Let me explain. Uh, excuse me. Hi. Mary Jane Watson, I am covering the Fisk Estate sale. Hello. Craig said we'd do this tomorrow. I like to get a jump on things. Well, I don't. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. Hey, Craig? No, sorry. It just... It looks like we're gonna have to run something else on the cover. I don't know. Uh, maybe the expressionist piece? You know what? I think I can make today work. Are you sure? You're here. No moment like the present. 
Thank you. Craig? Never mind. We're good. Let's get started. Look around and familiarize yourself with the items. I'll be waiting by the Baku statue when you're ready to begin. Can do. <sighs> Fist cut Peter open like a pork sausage with this the first time they fought. Pete got away, collapsed in my yard half dead, and I had to steal my dad's car to drive him to the ER. The first of many Nurse MJ moments. Too many. I can't get over this image. So much tension between these two figures. Let me know when you're ready to begin. Sounds good. Starting with the prize, a one-of-a-kind Kakemon Baku. Oh, beautiful. It's a Mifune? Correct. Mr. Fisk has exceptional taste. Did you know him well, before his arrest? In a professional context. I handled many of his sales. Let's move on, please. Now this exquisite piece exemplifies the traditional Tarashikomi puddled ink effect. The two Neo are so imposing. I can see why Fisk liked this piece. Definitely his style. He loved the duality. Destruction screams, but creation toils in silence. Was there ever anything irregular in any of the sales you handled for him? No. No, of, of course not. Not that I was aware of. Notice the intricate gold inlay on this ceremonial tea set. It's just... A friend in the DA's office mentioned that Fisk used art sales to launder stolen goods. I'm sure I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, I know. I was just wondering, now that he's arrested, if you had ever noticed anything strange. You know what? I'm actually running short of time. Why don't we grab the cover photo while we can? When I told my DA friend I was doing a piece on you, he mentioned your name was familiar. Just the photo, please. Stand right there. Are you sure there's nothing you'd like to say, maybe off the record, regarding Fisk's activities? I don't think your readers would have any interest in... Damn it. Wait here, please. Wait. I recognize that statue. I gotta get a flat. it. Craig, I'll call you back. My dear, I think it's time for you to go. Oh, um, could I... Use the restroom real quick. Fine. Follow me. Thank you. This... This is a really lovely space. It is. And this will be the last time you see it. The ladies is around the corner. Be quick. Of course. Be right back. Hello, Craig. Funny you should call. Because the reporter you sent is clearly not working the puff piece we agreed upon. No, she's here now. I've got to get into that back room. If that statue is what I think it is, this just turned into a huge story. What do you mean he had to reschedule? If she's not your reporter, who is she, Craig? Who is in my auction house? Oh my god. No, I do not trust you to fix this. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is have misinvestigative journalists arrested. And the second thing I'm going to do is collect your head, Craig. Dang, she's pissed. It is most definitely a threat. Uh-huh. Sure, Craig. 
Wait a second, Craig. Never mind. As I was saying... Uh-huh. Sure, Craig. Pete told me about this. Fisk used it to hide evidence. Why didn't the cops take it? I know this statue opens, but how? I wonder if there are any clues in here. you can move. Most common pose is latent power. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Hmm. Hmm. He's holding something. Maybe these pieces move. Excuse me, sir. You you can't be not good. Where's the statue? In in, in there. Ba Wen Jin Zhao Shu Lai. I was on my way to the exit when I saw you. You're lucky to be alive. So is the guy I saved five minutes ago. Listen, whoever these masked guys are, they're after this file. But I'll never get it out of here while the place is swarming with them. Right. Okay. Um, you hide back there. I take out the bad guys. You make a break when it's clear. Sounds like a plan. Good to see you, Pete. Yeah, you too. Not exactly how I pictured us meeting again, though. Funny. It's exactly how I pictured it. Did she change her perfume? Focus, Pete, focus. No! Yes! All right. Of course. Should clear these guys out before I push forward. How about that file? What's in it that these guys want so bad? Notes on something called Devil's Breath. Fisk was hired to build a secret research lab for it. Not clear what Devil's Breath is, but it seemed to scare Fisk. He compares it to Pandora's box. Not much shook Fisk. 
We need to get you and that file out of here. Hang tight. I always kind of loved that cane. So The hostage taking guys. Whoa, what is up with that glowy stuff on your hands? Are you guys ghosts? Never fought a ghost before. I mean, I've fought specters, but you know, technically, specters aren't ghosts. All ghosts are specters, but not all specters are ghosts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, seems like this is an all good. Fight a ghost stays on the old bucket list. Work out. Huh. Looks antique. I think I know someone who could help track down where this came from. A job for later. Out that room. Uh, you know, hold them for 
I just talked to Craig. You are not the reporter he was sending. You don't even work for Heritage Arts. Never said I did. Hi, Mary Jane Watson, right Daily there. Bugle. You... You will not write a word of what you saw For the here. record, what do you know about the file those masked men stole? That... I, I don't... What about the long history of stolen goods Fisk has laundered at this auction house? Your editor will be hearing from our attorney. Mix? Like the last six months never happened? Since when did Mix become Italian? I have no idea, but I'm still glad he makes these fries. Totally. Best in the city. So, how's the grind at the Bugle? Mm. Well... Yeah, well, I just got an all-caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. Uh, as soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, you be masked, guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's, how's it going with you? Did, did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Sure, but Dr. Octavius's work will help millions. I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Almost sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A lot can change in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends? Is that what we are? Well, maybe we could be, you know, you know if, if, if that's what you wanted. <laughs> There's a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things, too, like, uh, like money and uh, keys, and raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Cool. I love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites. Heading down third. Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker! Didn't he just get paroled? Yeah, well, guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. Just had dinner with my ex after saving her from masked criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep, please. 
The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. Seriously? Zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive?
I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Don't think about it. Just stop thinking about it. Peter. I do for you. I'm uh, sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Uh, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? <sighs> I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Peter, how are you? Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. We've got reports of muggings. 
Officers needed in Upper Chinatown. Peter, Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Easy steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. All units be advised, break it. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't forget, forget, I just... I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker, you're better than this. Uh, he's right. How did I lose track of time? Narcotic sale reported in progress. Officers needed in Little Italy. near Civic Center. <laughs> All units, we've got a commercial robbery in progress. Local officers, please converge on Civic Center. Got this Spider Man, thanks anyway.
break in. Officers needed south of Houston. in progress. Incident is ongoing in the West Village. for listener emails. Mason Queens writes, you're so full of anger and I wish you'd get help managing it. It's terrible for your health. Now I know she speaks from a place of concern, but this is a common misconception that I have to correct. I'm not full of anger. I'm full of love. I call out injustice, corruption, and crimes against humanity because I adore this city and I want it to be How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work. In a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. 
Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. Must be. Harry left me a message about these before he left for Europe. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but it sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was, but one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn! Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. Officers respond. Witness report of an active drug deal. Available officers, please proceed to Bryant. Over. Peter, I've been looking into the demons. Sounds like they've quietly established a power base in the vacuum left by Fisk. A vacuum I created by putting Fisk away. Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. But what were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman, actually pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Thanks, MJ. Talk to you soon.
Attention units, 1034. Repeat, assault reported. Officers needed in Central Park. Officers be advised, a mugging was just reported. Please proceed to Cathedral. Units. Armed robbery reported. Please respond. Proceed to Sutton Place. Over. Officers respond. We have a kidnapping in progress. Officers near Sutton Place. Be on alert. Officers respond. Witness report of an active drug deal. Converge on Grand Central. Over. Attention local units. A break-in is reportedly in progress. Available officers report to Turtle Bay. Herman, long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. <laughs> Oops, guess 
we're stuck in here for a while. Want to play 20 questions? <laughs> no? How about we stop less? <laughs> okay, face punch it is. <laughs> Whoa, your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid, you just stupid. You look so much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much... Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, don't kill me. Stand still. If you ask nicely, maybe. Coming your way. anymore you're lucky you found actual cash if you really want to rob banks try day trade it's all the rage oh come on herman you tell me who you're working for i can help you cut a deal if i talk i'm dead they made that very clear Give up before you really get hurt. Nope, gotta try something else. This one's gonna hurt. You're freaking me out, Herman. It's not like you to be afraid of people. Not even turn these guys on, people! Could be anything under those masks. Wait, did you say masks? Uh, <laughs> These mask guys, what do they want the money for? Don't know, don't care. Don't as I finish the job, I'm gone. Okay, catch this one with your face. Give up now and we can protect you! No way! You ain't see what I see! You son of a... Okay, last chance to give up! This time I really mean it! We're moving! Quick, 
on yourself literally man he was scared and desperate these demons are everywhere all of a sudden Okay, Yuri. Shocker's all yours now. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey! The Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on Demon, uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. <sighs> Shouldn't have asked. Fight with Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city. Doc left a message. Peter, I might have been a bit hasty advising you to find another job. I have a plan. Give me a bit of time. We may yet live to invent another day. The indomitable Otto Octavius. That's great news. Hope his plan works. Come around. They've been pretty busy tonight, hitting a lot of Fisk properties. They're going after Fisk? Damn. You thinking what I'm thinking? Brewing gang war? Let's try to get ahead of it. Are there any Fisk properties that haven't been hit tonight? Let me see. Patrol reported a bunch of activity at one of his shipyards in Portside. Thanks, Yuri. I'll check it out. idea what Fisk uses that shipyard for? No idea. Let me send an officer to meet you there. His name's Jefferson Davis. That's his beat. He's a good cop. Been working the Fisk case for years. If anyone knows what's going on at that shipyard, it's him. Got it, boss. Tripling security. Demons won't touch a thing. Listen up! Demons are making moves on all our caches. Lost two tonight already. Boss may be in lockup. That don't mean his hardware's up for grabs. Com check. Eagle 2, you up? Eagle 2 reporting in. Eyes on. What caches are the demons after? Need to take out Fisk's men and figure out what they're guarding. 
Whatever it is, I don't want it in Fisk's or the demon's hands. Snipers everywhere. I need to deal with them first. That sniper has a guard watching him. May need to divide and conquer. Naming on a packaging for this stuff's confusing. We got Z23, CR17, and Z12. CR20. I don't have numbers. Junk scattered around here. A well placed web shot could make a great distraction. They keep talking about gear. What does Fisk store here? are clustered together. Web shot on the right object could draw them away. Literally didn't see that coming.
You know we can't have vigilantes trespassing or doing illegal searches. Yeah, I know. Which is why I brought a warrant. So what do you say we do some perfectly legal searching? I like the sound of that. What's your name? Officer Davis. Call me Jeff. And you are? Uh... <laughs> Just messing with you. My son's a big fan. So, that warrant cover breaking down doors? Not without a lot of extra paperwork. Okay. I'll find another way in. Any place this rundown should have a hole in the wall or a broken window. Check around back. I'd go myself, but you know, not Spider-Man. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. Hello? Any fishermen with a grudge and a hook for a hand? Okay, where's that locked door? Jeff, you there? I'm doing my best to refrain from knock-knock jokes. Appreciated. You see a junction box powering the door? Should be conduits leading to it. Yeah, got it. If we can overload it, that should force the door open. Smart, but I don't have anything that packs enough current. Try this. Stun gun, genius. Capacitors in this are just what I need for an upgrade I've been thinking of. Remind me of my son. He started taking apart the TV when he was five. <laughs> now he's unlocking his friend's phones. Sounds like he could teach me a few things. Okay. Nothing illegal in plain sight? Kinda anticlimactic, huh? At first glance. Let's look closer. Looking for something specific? This yard's been here a long time. Bootleggers used to use it back in the day. Gotcha. Those guys love their hidden rooms. Check it out. Sound hollow to you? I got a hidden panel, like the one on the door. The conduits lead out the back. Look for another junction box. Let's see if my mask lenses can pick up the conduits. that work? Nah. Must not be the right box. Keep looking. Thanks. The way I could have unlocked this myself. Hey, I doubt I would have found it without you. Hmm. We got a big fat nothing. Well, there's one secret room that could be more. Notice anything about the floor? Aha. Uh -huh. They can hide the doors, but not the scrapes they leave. Keep an eye out for more of those. I know I'm after scrapes. I should take another look around.
Where else could there be scrapes? Gotta check all the walls and floors for scrapes. Pay dirt! Scrape? Sit tight, I'll pull you up. Second floor, rusted machine parts, big honking rats. <laughs> Careful, the bridge is out. I got this one. <laughs> nice, stuck the landing and everything. We're not all donut eaters. <laughs> Fair enough. Another secret door. I'll rig the lock. Let me know if you find the junction box. Yep, on it. Did it open? No. This door must be hooked for another box. You were after Fisk for a long time, huh? He's my great white whale. Nailed it! Hell yeah, you did. Nothing. I'm starting to feel like this is Fisk's way of messing with me. Well, look at the walls. They kept guns here. They wouldn't have moved them to the front door. Gotta be a passageway we're missing. Check out the wall. This might control access to another area. Fisk's men were talking about a vault. Maybe we're close. Bet on it. Looks like a dual circuit. See if you can find a second junction box. Junction box, where would I be? Follow the conduits. They should lead you in the right direction. <laughs> Found it. Clear. You were right, Jeff. Trap door. Outstanding. Think you can help me out? This thing's heavy. One, two, three. Well, that isn't spooky at all. Probably an old bootlegger's tunnel. And it looks like no one's cleaned it since Al Capone. Big chunk of concrete in the way. I can't get through. Let me see how it looks from the top. Got room to maneuver here. Hang on. I'm blocked. Anything you can do? What was that? Subway, maybe. Let's hustle. The place is unstable. Okay, that definitely wasn't a subway. No. It sounded like explosives. And that sounds like demons. The vault! Hurry! Damn. 
demons are already gone. How'd they beat us here? Must be a back door. See if you can find it. This place is one hell of an armory. Or was. Smash and grab. They were moving fast. Got empty crates here. And it looks like they took the ones they didn't clean out. There. They blew the locks to get in. Shh. Demons. Stay here. Hell no. It'll take both of us to stop them. And some of these. They're moving. Let's go. Get them! Find cover! That's what I'm talking about! Now you're just showing off! Hey, Jeff, one of your tricks will be great about now. Reloading. See? I've got friends, too. Firing. Stay clear. Find you. He's down. Gonna stun him. If I lose two trucks full of gunmen in one day, it's time to hang up the webs. Spider-Man! New demon stragglers at the yard! I'm held up! How are you looking? 
Not much better. These guys are all over the road. They'll kill someone if I can't stop them. Doing my best to catch up, but you might be on your own. Stay safe, Jeff. Don't do anything crazy. Bystanders will get shot. I gotta get in close. Hey guys, room for one more? Long time no see. Now the three decides to run on time. We've now identified the officer as Jefferson Davis. We're being told he has minor injuries and is expected to make a full recovery. Excuse me, miss. Are you supposed to be here? More than you. After that auction house thing, the Bugle put me on the city beat, which means I get to focus full time on real stories like this and the demons. You know the closer you get to them, the more you become a target, right? The closer I get, the better chance we have to stop them. We? Officer Davis, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. No comment. I don't blame you. But these guys are gonna tell their story with or without you. And they thrive on controversy. So what's your angle? I don't have one. I just listen. Okay. Up in. She's good. Beat. Time to head home and get some sleep. Come on.
Empire Sanitation, this is Eddie. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm trying to track down some items that were accidentally picked up from a dumpster outside my apartment. Dumpster number. Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, 64476. That's room 33. Truck's already left at shift. If your stuff's not there, you're out of luck. Wait, wait, please. This is important. Can you at least tell me where the truck is? <sighs> Let me check. All right. Looks like it should be at the municipal garage at Bowery and Grand. Got it. Thanks, Eddie. Municipal garage. Bowery and Grand. Not a problem. I don't care if I lose everything else. I have to find my Spidey drive. Can't be that hard. Finding a tiny flash drive in a 30-ton garbage truck. I have years of research on that drive. Everything I've worked on since high school. Of course it's locked.
Can't have people stealing garbage. Maybe there's another way in. It's not really breaking and entering if I don't break anything, right? Okay, no need to panic. Maybe they haven't dumped the trash yet. Nada. Ugh. Okay, time to panic. Empire Sanitation, this is Eddie. Sorry, is there any chance the truck wasn't at the garage? Sure, I guess. Just means it'd be somewhere in West Chinatown. Great, I'm headed there now. Sometimes the guys stop for pizza before they drop off. Really? I'll check out the pizza shops. Any idea which one? One of the mom and pop joints, I think. Jerry's? No, that's uptown. I mean, original Jerry's. Oh, right. No, started with an L, I think. Larry's? That's on the east side. Uh, Leo's. Leo's, yeah. That might be it. Man, I love Leo's. I'll pick you up a pie. I, wait, I think I see the trucks. Thanks, Eddie. Should be some trucks close by. Is that really him? Nope, stuff's not here. There has to be another truck around here. No sign of my stuff. <laughs> what an interesting smell. Eddie, my only hope. Not there either, huh? You sure they were around here? Well, the guys might have switched routes due to the upcoming Osborne rally. If your pickup was on Route 35, they'd be dropping off at the incinerator right now. Incinerator? Over by Manhattan Bridge. Better hustle. There's the incinerator. Hope I'm not too late. Uh-oh. Looks like trouble. Okay? Yeah, thanks. This gang's been terrorizing the whole neighborhood the last couple of days. There's probably more of them on the way. I'll keep an eye out. Hey, mind if I look around for some, uh, some personal items? Sure, have at it. I gotta go file an incident report. Please be here. Yes. Hope it still works. Phew, looks like everything's here. Hey, look. Type. Looks. Uh, I think I can make. 
make this work. Got it. Look, it's that guy, it's a spider. Uh-oh. Ice! Okay, well, this night isn't quite going as planned. Where am I gonna sleep? Guess I could try MJ's. All right, how am I gonna talk my way onto MJ's couch? Let's see. Uh, hi, MJ, it's Peter. Any chance I could stay over to... Oh, that's too formal. I was just in the neighborhood and wow, oh, that's lame. Hey MJ, now that we're talking again, I thought maybe okay, that just sounds pathetic. Why am I making this such a big deal? We're just friends, right? Friends crash on each other's couches all the time. It's not weird or anything. It's just a couch. MJ's couch. Oh, what am I thinking? Hmm, just got a web alert. Huh, looks like MJ's story just got published. I think I'll find somewhere else to stay. She's probably busy with work. I wish Harry was in town. I could crash with him. me a voicemail. Numbers blocked though. Hey there, spider. Long time no see. Miss me? Come to this address. Catch me if you can. Uh-oh. I think I know that voice. Hey. Hello, Spider. Been thinking about you a lot lately. We were good together, weren't we? Maybe it's time to reignite the flame. The black cat. Don't tell me she's scoping out places to rob. She promised she would give up that life. What was she looking at? Anything look out of place? She wants me to find something. There. One of her cats. 
She packs those with range extenders, then harvests nearby RFID signals. I'll let Yuri know to pick it up. Hey, Yuri. You still have Black Cat's suit and equipment in the evidence lockup, right? I think so. Why? Is she back at it? Maybe. You just double check and let me know if her gear is still there. Will do. Hey, May. You're calling late. What's up? I thought we were going to meet up for dinner tonight. Oh, right. I'm sorry, I forgot. It's been a hard day. We lost funding at the lab. Oh, Peter, I'm sorry. I also kind of got evicted from my apartment. What? Do you have a place to stay tonight? Actually, no. Not really. I hate to ask, but any chance you have room at the shelter? Well, of course. Feel free to use the couch in my office. Thanks, May. I know. Even Shocker's a part of it. That roped into running jobs for the demons. Yeah, these guys are serious. Do they just want to replace Fisk? That'd be bad enough. Hope it's not something worse. need a vacation or something. Dudes are way too high. Wrong. All units, mass terrorists have opened fire. Officers needed in the East Village. Worse than the best ever was. Hold tight, officers. The whip swinging cavalry's here. Uchi, Uchi! Tango, ran out!
slowing down. What are they trying to accomplish? All units, 1030 on an armored car. Suspects are wearing masks. Location is Lower Chinatown. Confucius Plaza. I could use some of his wisdom right about now. Can't believe I haven't slept since the Fisk takedown. Gotta start taking better care of myself. I never used to feel safe at the other shelter. Hope May's couch is comfortable. Man, was I ever a dork. Well, we all have an awkward face. Miss you. I can't take this. You can, and you will. I'll pay you back. Soon. Just ask for help next time. Oh, you are so much like Ben. You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human, like the rest of us. Martin. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know I'm headed out of town. You're in charge while I'm gone. Well, you can count on me. How long will you be away? Uh, I really don't know. Is everything okay? It's some personal business I've been planning for a while. But please take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. Well, I guess I better get busy. Mr. Lee's okay. Hello? Hey, did you see my story? I did. Robbie must be pretty happy right now. Yeah, it kind of went viral. And get this, Mayor Osborne just announced he's going to give Officer Davis an award this afternoon. Wow. Wait, isn't Osborne's campaign rally this afternoon? Oh, 
I see what he's doing. Yeah, we all do. But still, a pretty cool moment for Officer Davis and his family. I'll be there covering it. Wanna join me? Yeah, of course. See you then. So humiliating taking money from May. I should head out into the city and try to pay it forward. Congrats on the ceremony today. I'll be glad when it's over. A truck full of armed demons scares me less than public speaking. But I'm calling about something else. What's up? Just got a tip that the demons are moving on the fifth construction site in Midtown. Life would kill me if I ditched the ceremony prep to play cops and robbers, but I thought maybe my friendly neighborhood partner would want to know. Understood. I'll do a swing by, let you know what I find. And hey, here's a tip on public speaking. Just picture everyone in their underwear. Wait, not Osborne. You know what? Uh, never mind. <laughs> the menu for my first real date with MJ. Wish I could have afforded someplace fancier. But she. The menu for my first real date with MJ. Wish I could have afforded someplace fancier. But she didn't seem to mind. This piece of the Shocker's original uniform showed me how to protect myself from his blasts. Of course, they always upgrade, don't they? Spider plushie! Oh, a toy designer made this prototype to get me to license my likeness. Too bad there's no way to get paid without revealing my identity. Use these electrician's gloves in my first fight with Electro. Give me the idea to add insulation to my costume, which saved my bacon more than once. <laughs> Funny, my fear of heights didn't go away when I got my powers. Had to climb to the top of the Empire State to get over that. Another message from Doc. Peter, I don't want to jinx us, but the lead I'm following might not only get the project back on its feet, but also expand it in ways we never could have imagined. Everything happens for a reason, even Norman pulling our plug. Really hope this works out. Doc's work is too important to go unfinished. Officers respond. We've got 
got a 10-10 narcotics in progress. Officers needed in Gramercy. Please copy. Got an algorithm in the suit that can extrapolate where the kidnappers might have gone. Civilians need help at the scene of a car accident. Location is Cathedral.
Still not sure if opening this would set the Sandman free, but I'm in no hurry to find out. All units advised, kidnapping reported. You might have heard about the robbery at Roseman's auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm, is that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible, demonic faces. Yet another example of the explosion in mass criminals since Spider-Man came on the scene. Let's hear your thoughts. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, I see your point, but Spider-Man stopped those guys today. Saying he's like them because he wears a mask isn't fair. It's like... Prejudice? Wrong! Here's a little lesson in the English language, my friend. Prejudice means to prejudge someone before you know anything about them. I know all I need to about Spider-Man. He runs around causing chaos, wearing a mask so he doesn't have to answer for his shenanigans, and a flashy costume so he gets attention to feed his gigantic, insatiable ego. Now, if I'm a mentally unstable person, and I see him getting all this coverage, what am I going to do? It's called copycat behavior, people, and it's ruining New York. Officers respond. We've got a 1010 narcotics in progress. Converge on Grand Central. Over. 